We are still tracking that breaking news out of Baltimore right now. A manhunt is underway for more than one shooter after a block party turned deadly. Two people are dead. Dozens more are hurt. Officials say that half of those injured are under the age of 18. Now, our Emily Finn is tracking this story for us. And Emily, this is supposed to be a neighborhood event. Uh, that's right, Natasha. An investigation is currently underway in Baltimore after a joyful block party turned deadly. As you said, what we know right now is there are two people dead and 28 more injured. 14 of those injured are under the age of 18, some in critical condition at local hospitals. The shooting happened just after midnight. One witness describing it as a war zone with the crime scene spanning several blocks. While few details are available at this time, police said at a press conference this afternoon, they believe there is definitely more than one suspect, but could not confirm how many they're looking for. Maryland Governor Westmore released a statement on the shooting today, saying the fact that these horrific shootings continue to take place is abominable, promising the state will do everything they can to prevent senseless acts of violence like this. Baltimore Mayor Brandon Scott echoing those words as well, vowing to hold the shooters accountable. This was a reckless, cowardly act of violence uh, that has taken two lives and altered uh, many, many more. And as I said earlier, we will uh, find those who are responsible and we will not stop until we do so. Again, this tragic incident is another glaring, unfortunate example of the deep issues of violence in Baltimore, in Maryland, in this country, and particularly gun violence and the access to illegal guns. Authorities investigating the shooting are asking for the public's help to track down the suspects, requesting anyone living in the area to turn over ring camera video or other evidence to police. We'll continue to bring you the latest updates throughout the night on this developing situation. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.